Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4 as Mongolia. So the first thing you're probably noticing is that our borders are a little bit different again. Which of course means that I have in fact uh, started for the third and definitely final time. I've, I've decided that if I can't make it work this time, uh, that's it. And I'll we'll try a different campaign. But, uh, in the meantime... I'm actually really upset about it, because uh, last time, as you probably recall, the Ming were starting to explode on themselves, and we had um, an awesome chance to do stuff over there. But, you know, these things happen. So we actually have Kazakh as a vassal, by the way. Uh, we also have the uh, Hakesy as a vassal, and we'll be annexing them shortly. In fact, can I, I can annex them now, which is probably for the best. Um... Incidentally, uh, are these your cores? Do you have these cores? Why can I not click on anything? There we go. Yes, it appears everything is cored. Now, oh, another thing I should have considered. They are Tengri, so hopefully... Hopefully they consider... Oh, wait, this is all Confucian. That is not, though. Oh, and that's even in my country. Alright, so yeah, so that's what's going on over there. And, yeah. So I'm gonna annex them just because I don't want to... Because Kazakh is gonna get big, because as it happens, they have a lot of cores. Of course, then again, there's also a lot of Sunni territory in here that I might want to devour. Or, might want to convert. Because Kazakh itself is also Sunni. But then again, we might want to convert Sunni if we ever plan on reforming the government and becoming Western. But we'd have to do some tricks and stuff and get taken over by Sunni zealots if we want that to happen. Or it might become an option if we make uh, Sunni our syncretic faith or some such. Anyway. Oh, we also have a fort here for some reason. Anyway, so yeah, the plan is now to go to war with the Timurids while they're quite weak, because the plan is, I mean, if, if the Ming are not imploding on themselves, and as far as I can tell, the Ming are not imploding on themselves in this campaign. They did scare me for a second, though, when they rivaled me, but apparently I'm not their rival anymore, so that's pretty fortunate. Oh, Yarkin is no longer a valid rival, which makes sense, because we literally just ate them. And you can't be a rival with a nation that doesn't exist. That would be funny, but it would not make a lot of sense. But anyway, you're also probably wondering, well, why are we restarting this campaign? What did you do to mess it up this time? And I shall tell you. Uh, basically, I just messed up with the estates. And this actually quite frustrated me, because I'd actually recorded, like, two weeks of videos in advance, basically, and all went down the drain. And I could have just kept uploading them and stuff, but I figured, no. Uh, why would I do that? Uh, but basically what happened, uh, let's also start this war while we're going here. Also, I'm sure this did not use to auto-pause whenever these events came up, but maybe it does. Uh, how much autonomy does Jerem have? And it'd have to be pretty low, or pretty high. Yeah, you know what, I'd rather have the autonomy than lose monarch points. That may not be the best way of doing things, but I'd rather have the monarch points. And I don't think we're ever going to be next to someone, at least for a long, long time, where we so we can get that bonus. So we might as well take advantage of it while we can. What are my ideas? Oh yeah, ad admin ideas, because I want to get the core creation. I mean, minus 25% here, minus 25% there. All good. Also, we are incredibly wealthy, as you've probably noticed. Mostly because we have a whole bunch of gold-producing provinces, which... Actually, is probably going to be a bit problematic, since we're going to get a bunch of inflation from that. Oh, wait, Yarkin does still exist. That's right, they had one province left over because their all their provinces were too expensive for me. Hmm. Cockend. Anyway, anyway, but yes, while we're getting this war started, I'll explain what happened. Can I, uh, go if... No, there was another one. Tribal Conquest. I guess that's only against non-tribes. Ardalan. Who is Ardalan, and why should I care about them? I can't even see them from here, so they must be pretty small. Probably. Still can't see you. Oh! 
You have Persian Separatists, so it's not like... Oh, wow, actually, I just noticed that Timurids have been bisected here. They're also getting beaten by the Uzbeks, who I have themselves been bisected by me. Uh -huh, they can't get through to deal with their tribes. There's also this poor, lonely Oirat Separatist who... I just don't have the heart to kill him. He's just alone out there. So, there's that. Alright, let's go to war and... Uh, Let's see, we'll we'll go for something close by. Uh, not too close, though. Uh, let's say Kulob, that way we have to go at least one province over. Uh, or Kabul is around here somewhere, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's right down there. Anyway, but now that we have the war started, basically what screwed me over was the tribes. Uh, once you get big, there is like... Let's see here, actually I can probably show it off with this influence bit. Yeah, number of cities, 40%. I mean, uh, I got really upset after this, and I was, I actually made a video uh, before I decided to cancel this and just start with this series of uh, complaining about <laughs> just how big that penalty is. But then I uh, started another off-camera campaign just to try learning from my mistakes before coming back. And it turns out that the Western estates don't have that 40% penalty, as far as I can tell, so... Uh, yeah. Basically, I guess it's to keep the hordes from getting too overpowered, because you have to manage your tribes, because they can get pretty unruly, which makes sense. Is there even an army to fight me? There are 7,000 men somewhere in the world. Naturally, that's probably not going to do much against me. The date. The Ming- oh dear god, it's happening again. The Ming are rivaling me. That always scares me. What? Why, Ming? Why? I thought we were going to be friends and you were going to wait until you imploded on yourselves before you fought me. Curiosity. How big is the Ming's army? Ah, they're double my size. But anyway, what happened with the estates for me is it? It, it was mostly my own fault, but it was partially just really bad RNG. I got a whole bunch of events that raised their influence, and once you're big enough, as you probably noticed, you don't really get a lot of wiggle room. What's this? Incompetent diplomacy. That's terrible. We can't have that. Anyway, but yeah. And it had been such a good campaign too, so I was quite, quite saddened by that development. Hmm. Are there still any troops around here? There's still 7,000 men wandering around somewhere in the Timurid land. I don't know where. I don't know why. And I don't even know how. But they're there, and... Yeah. These are the problems of a horde. You just... You just have to deal with it. And... I guess Persia is probably going to become separate at this point. But basically what we're going to do, we're going to play even more aggressively than I did in my previous attempt at this. In fact, no, we can't declare war on them because we don't have a border with them yet. So, uh, I guess we could stop the Persians from separating. That might, that might be fun. I mean, I guess we could do that. I don't think we can take any of this land, though, unless we declared war on Tabaristan. And that could set off some chain alliances that I don't want, especially because the Ming might come for me. In fact, they're almost certainly going to come for me. Ah, oh yes, advisors. Uh, you know what, why not? We'll go for you, and you. Hey, you're the guy who's on the picture for the Cossacks expansion. Isn't that funny? Yeah, we're making so much money because of those gold pro- Well, we were making more money a while ago. Apparently our army maintenance has gone up exponentially. Actually, is there really any reason for me to personally go down there? I mean, other than to possibly take out these Persian separatists? And the answer is yes. I'm gonna probably fight those guys just to make sure that they don't cause me any issues because... Undoubtedly, they are going to cause issues if I let them. But I'll, I'll let my vassals do all the hu Why am I stuck? Tabaristan. Tabaristan, what are you doing? Why are you not letting me through? I'm stuck. 
Uh, no, there shall be no peace, Timrids. Not until I'm done with you. I haven't had my way with you fully yet. Uh, we do have rebels, though. Mongol tribes? What? What are you guys all angry about? What happened here? That's odd. Oh, it's all over this. Wait, did I even... Yeah, I gave this land to the tribe. Why are they angry? Tisk tisk, I say. And... I've given the tribes everything they want, and yet there is still unrest. In fact, I gave that land to the tribes in the hope that it would actually mitigate unrest. But alas, that did not happen. Alright. So, were you at war, and then you suddenly were not at war? I guess. Well, I could just conquer my way through you, but I think I'll ask for military access instead. Uh, do I want to take Ardlin? No, I don't think I can core any of this over here. I mean, I want the Persian Separatists to succeed, because that way I won't have to deal with any truce timers or anything, but... Ah, good. Core creation cost. Excellent. Now I shall probably not spend anything on the rest of these, even though you may or may not have noticed that pretty much my entire... Uh-oh. No! No, my mouse! This is not good. Uh, excuse me for a second. Okay, sorry about that. My mouse just died, which is rather unfortunate, and it happens to run on a AAA battery, and there are no AAA batteries to be found, so I had to go drag out another mouse, so that was fun. Anyway, it also occurs to me I don't think I entirely detailed all the details of, well, why the last campaign failed. Essentially, uh, the Hordes got too much influence due to some a series of bad events that all happened at once. And after that... Uh, yeah, there was a series of bad events that all happened at once, and then... Jeez, why do these keep happening? Bad events, just one after the next, huh? There's no winning. Let's see here, we better cancel our military access as we... Access, please, as we no longer need it. Cancel, thank you. And effective... Anyway, yeah, so what happened is bad events. Uh, the tribes took over. However, there is a, an easy way to get out of these sorts of situations, which I shall share with you now. Basically, as far as I can tell, all you need to do, whenever it seems like your estates are getting out of control, all you need to do is pause the game, make sure that none of your troops happen to be standing on any of controlled estate provinces and then remove everything you're gonna get a whole bunch of rebels that's normal but all you have to do is wander on over to uh what is it this screen where the rebels are and then just accept their demands and they'll go away uh at least that works with the tribes you'll get a whole bunch of autonomy but frankly Having high autonomy is better than having your entire campaign basically get effed over by bad luck. So, you do that, basically purge the estates, and then you can put them back in as you see fit. At least that was, that was my solution, which I figured out too late, because I had quite foolishly figured that since I was going to have rebels anyway, I might as well uh, hope that my enemies could fight them, and then I got into a war, and unfortunately... The rebels and my enemies decided to work together somehow, just because my enemies didn't go where the rebels went, and the rebels only went where my army happened to be standing at the time, so... Yeah. Things went rather bad, and I didn't want to show that on camera, so... That is that story, and... Yeah. Learn from my mistakes, my friends. Pay attention to what's going on with the influence. Because, like I said, it was partially my fault, because while mostly it was bad RNG giving a bunch of events that uh, created a whole bunch of influence for the tribes, and personally I feel this 40% thing here is a bit too high, because you get very little room for error there. Oh my goodness. Or a gun. Alright, who's the con now? 431. I guess that's okay. In fact, I think there was a, uh, as I recall, before I, all that unfortunate business happened, 
I actually did have a an heir whose name was Temujin, which, as you may or may not know, is in fact uh, Genghis Khan's name. But then he died, which I should have seen then and there as uh, important of bad things to come. Where did that actually happen on camera? I forget. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, at this particular point, it's actually probably cheaper to pay down my inflation than it is to... Oh goodness. Yeah, this inflation is starting to get a little bit out of hand. So we, we may want to do something about that, because we were making a whole bunch of money not that long ago. And the only thing that appears to have changed, as far as I can tell, well, we did get a bunch of autonomy. But even more so, we... what. All that seems to have changed is that, um, we're at war, which is kind of odd, but anyway. Uh, let's see, how are things going? Things are going pretty well. You know what? We're at 90%. We might as well piece out of this to wrap the episode up. And we are going to take literally everything we can from the Uzbeks. What is this? Oh, that's being sieged by someone else. I guess that makes sense. In fact, I think that belongs to the Uzbeks. Let's see here. Yeah, I can't core this. Uh, let's see here. I could humiliate them. Well, actually, no, because that costs 40% and we have... There we go. We'll just take all their money. Alright, when can we go to war with the Uzbeks again? Let's see here. Uzbeks... War in 91, so in one year. So if I don't mind leaving all this uncored... Can I core any of this land? I can't core any of it. Oh wait, I can core that. Alright, I, I may want to keep it like this. Now that I think about it. It's going to be awkward, also this other mouse I'm using is far too big for my hands. And it, it just feels a little clunky, so I'm going to be looking for another... Or going back to my old mouse as soon as possible. Or, actually, I, I should really get a better mouse in general, because the one I'm using right now, I mean, it runs on a AAA, and it, it just doesn't last that long, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, we are well on our way to success. Uh, no. Yes. It happened. I don't know how. But, Rebels. Everywhere! The Ming are imploding on themselves! Oh, praise... Praise to the Sky Father, we're going... <laughs> oh, glory be. We've got it. I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Campaign over. I can... I can cancel the series now. We've already won. You know, what's this? The Golden Horde is relatively strong. Muscovy is sort of being hemmed in. For now, anyway. Wow. This could actually end up being a really good and possibly really short series. Assuming nothing else goes wrong. And hey, Ming, you have a bigger armor, army than me, but you also have more rebels than my entire country has population, so... I don't mind rivaling you now. Also, Mongol separatists. Excellent. Excellent. But typically, Ming is probably going to immediately target these ones rather than let me get anything. So anyway... Ah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Because now the only real challenge we're probably going to have in this campaign is Muscovy and probably the Ottomans, because it looks like they are just hammering away at the Mamluks, so the faster we get over here to uh, curb their expansion, the better for us. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, so <laughs> thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you also especially for sticking with this series through... Well, two restarts at this point. We're, we are not going to have a third. And if we have to start this series another time, then I'll probably just take a bit of a break so that we could try something else. But anyway, yes, that's going to do it. And I'm rambling as I tend to do just because, I don't know, my head has been somewhere else for the last few days. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so yeah, before I ramble on any further, I <laughs> will end this video and... Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.